Hey friends, welcome to a little of it all. My name is Taylor. On this channel, we are using the zero-based and cash stuffing budgeting methods to pay off student loans and save money to buy a house. So if that sounds like content you're interested in, guys, I would love it if you subscribe to this channel and join us on our super fun adventure. It would be so awesome if you were here. Just don't be surprised if you see video pop up every once in a while, maybe like a crafting video or like a candle making video because I do love a little of it all. Thanks so much for choosing me to spend some time with today, friends. Whether this is your first time stopping by or you've been hanging out for a while, I'm just so thankful that you're here. Give this video a thumbs up so I know that you're here today. We are budgeting October's second paycheck. Thank goodness. It has been <laughs> a long little while um, since we have done a cash stuffing and we are ready for it. We are super ready for it. So let's see what we got going on today. So this check hit our bank account today actually on Friday the 13th. Happy Friday the 13th everybody. <laughs> I hope you guys had a wonderful day and had a wonderful week and a great weekend. So hit on the 13th and we do not get paid again till the 27th. So for bills purposes it needs to last us another two weeks. Whew, that's, that's a long time but we got it. We can do this. So let's see what we've got going on. Clearly, I have slacked on the month of October. I have not checked off anything being paid, but I know <laughs> our stuff is getting paid. So we need to cover Apple Storage, Fubo, Peacock, Disney Plus, uh, Google Plus, and cell phone. And then also we um, need to do a $30 subscribe and save. So let's get to budgeting and see how we're gonna work this time. Okay, so we've got October check number two the amount is 1427 so I think what has happened is because both my husband and I are salaried employees and he was getting $1,444 but then like all of a sudden he was getting 1427 which is not that big of a difference but it's still a difference and so I thought you know it was just a weirdness on one check but his past several checks have been like this so what I think has happened like an insurance premium or something went up because I know ours did um, where I work so I'm just waiting for that to actually hit <laughs> and take effect on my check too so um, that's what I think happened there um, so anyway all of that added together that we need to leave in the bank this time is two hundred and forty six dollars so fourteen twenty seven minus two forty six is one thousand one hundred and eighty one dollars so this is the amount that we're going to be able to work with for our groceries gas household other things like that but our bills are taken care of and this money stays in the bank because our bills are auto drafted out we don't have to worry about that so bills let's get our necessities in our wallets we both get $23 and then $140 in the binder so that should be 186 this is our big grocery fund this is just our own little personal like if we need to run and grab something at the store or if we're out of something we can go do that and we try not to touch our big grocery fund until we do like our big grocery hauls and then gas for each of us we get $50 I don't know if I've just been like going and doing more than usual but this fifty dollars is not lasting me at all household we both get 15 in our wallets and then we're gonna do we're gonna stick with 40 40 in the um sinking funds binder so that should be a total of 70. so that's our necessities and let's take care of our pups they are number one on the list of important things so their puppy food they are getting 40 dollars, and then their envelope is getting 20. i need to throw a whole lot more at that because the Beagles had their annual appointment together, um, and then Dorothy Jane is actually at the vet right now getting her teeth cleaned, so I know that's going to take even more out of our puppy envelope, so all that money we were trying to save up for the end of the year boarding is pretty much depleted at this point, but that's okay. We, can, we still have time to save it back up. Our annual that we are stuffing right now is P.O. Box, and let's go ahead and give it three. Okay and perfect oh i know giveaways we need five dollars in giveaway and that will finish up our giveaway so we can do that for hitting 2k okay savings challenges let's take care of you next lawnmower i'm gonna leave 
I really want to fully fund lawn mower this pay period, but just looking at this number and all the other envelopes we have, I don't think we're going to make it work. So I'm going to leave it to the end and see what we can do. But blue zip, we are finishing up blue zip and it's going to be 20 in the form of 10 and 10. So minus 20. And then matron of honor was 28 last time. And then all of our Christmas envelopes, one, two, three, four, we're doing 20, 20, 15, and 10. So minus 20, minus 20, minus 15, minus 10. All right, and then we're adding some new challenges this time. We finished a whole bunch uh, last cash stuff, and so now it's time to add in some more. So I, when I very first started, OGs probably remember my very first unboxing ever. I had like a little tiny, a8 envelope I think it is um, and the person that I got it from was like hey can you make this into like a savings challenge and I made it into like a quick 250 savings challenge so that's what I'm calling it is quick 250 so we'll put $25 in quick 250 and then I ordered over the summer a adorable savings challenge from budget with Carly I don't know what to call it so I'm just gonna call it my budget with Carly challenge and we're gonna fill up the first three envelopes so one two three in the form of six dollars so minus six okay good and then we'll go come back to the lawnmower and let's finish up our wallets uh, I 20 and 20 for 40 and I owe our credit card like $17, so I'll just get this money <laughs> and deposit it right into the bank. I went to Walmart um, this week. I'm off, and so I went to Walmart and just did some peddling around, and I found a couple of cute things there um, that I went ahead and bought. Um, and so I just got to pay back uh, like $17 left, I think. Okay, and then eating out, we get 20 and 10 for a total of 30 He doesn't get anything for going out with friends. I'm going to get 10 drinks 10 and 10 for 20 and then 10 and 20 in toiletries so that's 30 and then fives for both of us for miscellaneous and buffer okay hmm all right i've got three dollars left where do i want to put it okay this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna give myself 13 dollars in drinks because i have definitely definitely been loving Starbucks these past couple weeks and so I don't think I have any drink money left and so that will give me at least $13 in drinks now instead of zero <laughs> and I'm gonna see if I can make this work before even filling out our sinking funds binder let me go ahead and put $400 in the lawnmower that's not gonna finish it up that's gonna get it close though we should only have 200 left after that I believe to meet our $3,600 goal. So let's see if we can make this work. I've only got $60 left. I'm gonna X through miscellaneous and giveaways. And I think going out with friends is pretty much empty. So I'm gonna put 20 in there. We went to the uh, pumpkin patch with our fam and loved it. We had so much fun, but we definitely spent all of that money. And so let me do, I'm going to go ahead and exit out chiropractor too. Let me do five and five here for prescriptions and over-the-counter meds. So minus 10. And then we've got 30 left. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Okay. So I'll do five and five in Sam's and hunting. So that's 10. And then let's do 10 and 10 in us and eating out. And so that's going to be minus 20. And that, my friends, is a zero-based budget. We love to see it. We love that it works. We love that we are controlling our money and that our money is not controlling us. And then this gives us the freedom to spend and not feel guilty about it. So let me get my denomination breakdown sheet and make sure everything was configured correctly. We'll do green today. Okay, let's fill this bad boy out. Okay, friends, let's get to counting. Perfect. $1,181. That is what we should have. Okay, let's see what teller slip we're going to use today. Let's use this beauty from the Aesthetic Dollar and get it filled out. 
I am going to use my gorgeous bank bag from ADHD Budgets and I'm going to stick this right in here and then I'm going to go to the bank and then we're going to be cash stuffing, my friends. Ah, I'm super excited. I hope you guys will stick around and tune into this cash stuffing. It's going to be a fun one. I can't wait. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me today and watching me budget. I hope it was fun. <laughs> you guys are awesome and wonderful and lovely and I just love you guys so much. Don't give up doing great things, my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>